welcome to Off the Charts, episode 152. Before, uh, by the way, this is my nephew, uh, Jeremy, or J-Money. Third time on this show. Yes, he's, uh, he, he wanted show. to be in the show, even though there's like hardly anything to do in this one here. Yeah. It's going to be a rant episode. <laughs> Before we uh, start off, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and tell your friends. Okay. So I will be talking about, there you go, all right, this album, Accept to Mean to Die, very okay, cool and cover. there'll be a oh, very cool cover, good album too. Biggest snake I've ever seen. Yes. Well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so the reason I'm talking about this is because it's more of a rant of like, why the hell is YouTube deleting comments? So. I'll start off with some, I, I respond to each and every one of your comments uh, on YouTube, okay? It's happened a few times that somebody's sent a comment or I get a notification from a comment and I can't find the, the comment. I, I don't know if YouTube deleted it or not. Really? So, yeah, it happens. Like I don't know why. Like, like yeah, it could be you know, someone like um, random, right? Yeah. Someone will write a comment, and I I get the notification that there's a new comment. I go and reply. I can't find the comment anymore. Weird. So this is what happened with uh, a friend of mine, a YouTuber, uh, Keith, from Attack from Down Under. So he was showing off his album that he bought, Except Too Mean to Die. So I wanted to tell him a little story about this one that happened to me. So... And you tell me is is what I'm about to say, and I and I comment I wrote it twice on his YouTube channel, and both times were deleted for some reason. So really? you tell me if I'm what I'm about to say is against YouTube's uh, is there keywords like is it too mean to die, mm -hmm. is it the nuclear blast, is it is that the word? Wait a second. Uh, is there is the and I'm going to use the word bastard, and there's a reason for that. Okay, you tell me if this is, but I'll tell you the the story, and I'll try to remember it verbatim, I guess. So he was telling us that he bought this album, except to mean to die. I said I bought it also, but something strange happened when I I got this album. So I'm listening to the album, and of course, you know, you know, si this is a double album, by the way. Pretty cool. All right. So there's four sides, side A, B, C, and D. So I'm listening to the, and I, and except you know the type of vocals that they have. You know, it's a, it's a distinctive vocal. Well, with Mark Torniello and you do Dirk Schneider. So I'm listening to side A, side B, and I'm listening to side C and something's wrong. I'm like, that doesn't sound like the singer from except. So I'm like, then I'm looking at, yeah, it says side C. <laughs> Symphony of Pain, the best is to come. How like all songs of except. Then I play side D. Everything's fine. So I'm like, no, there's some sums off, but something something's wrong with the side C. So I, I play it, and I'm like, this doesn't sound like Mark Tornillo. So I, what I do is I take my cell phone, I Shazam it. You guys, you know what Shazam is. Oh, so yeah. I'm playing. The record on side C, I Shazam it, and it comes up as Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons. Not, <laughs> what? not accept. Okay, so the album side C says you're up, and this is actually the copy here, by the way. This is the copy that this, the the one that doesn't work. So Phil no Bastard, what, so? what a legend! What a legend! So side C. Yeah, it, it says, you know, it's oh. got accept on it. That's a pretty cool disc. Yeah, it's very cool. Oh, Too bad it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It works. But anyway, you play this. So I I, I, I Shazammed it. No, no, no. Thank you. And uh, it's Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons, That's which is another group off of Nuclear Blast. So no. I emailed Nuclear Blast saying, you know, this is what's happening with the record. I just got A, B, and D sides work fine then um c doesn't work and they're like they reply back that's odd 
can you actually prove that? So before that, oh, so they told you to prove it, eh? Yeah, which is fine. Which oh. is fine. You know, anybody can, you know, say this doesn't work. Give me my money back. Yeah. I didn't want my money back. I wanted a good, I wanted a record that works. So what I did was I filmed myself uh, listening to the side seat, shazamming it with, I guess it was my iPad, filming my iPhone. Yep. And okay. sure enough, I'm like, listen to this. This is not accept. So I press Shazam and it recognizes it as Phil Campbell and the Bastard Son. So those three <laughs> songs on side C is the ex guitarist from Motorhead, Phil Campbell. He's got a new band called Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons. So they, that's what was, so that was what the recording was on side C, but everything else showed except anyway, after that proof, I said, am I that boring? No, I'm just a bit tired of my yeah. day, you know. Okay. So I sent them that. They said, oh, my God, that's odd, blah, blah, blah. I uh, I sent off the video, and they sent me a new copy of Accept to Mean to Die, which works fine. Now, that's – okay, I didn't – not – I wrote that to my friend Keith on his little paragraph twice, got deleted. I was like, what the hell, man? So – is there keywords out there that I wrote that I shouldn't have, or oh. like, like Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons is a name of a band. Too mean to die is a name. Uh, the name of the album. Nuclear blast. You know the word nuclear. I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out why would this. So Keith, that's what I was trying to write you on. Your uh, YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel. When I saw you had, and I said, that's a funny story. I'll write that anyway. I'm just curious why this was deleted, oh. or let's see if this episode will. Uh, anyway, we'll see. So, so that is what happened with my uh, "Too Mean to Die," and I was curious, Keith, to see if you actually listened to your copy, and uh, if this was actually the problem. So I would actually make sure you. Because if you look on Discogs and you type in that, uh, and my friend Steve actually told that to me, go to Discogs and you'll notice that other people has that problem with that album from, and it's the the um, silver, I guess. So the so you, copy. So how many comments did you send to that guy from on YouTube? Two. Was it Two. like was it like bad comments or good? That comments? was it. It was just me explaining the. Was it like bad comments? Like, there was no. Like, it was no comment. I just said. The, the side C wasn't working. I had to Shazam it. I mm-hmm. noticed it wasn't the right band. Yep. And they sent. So uh, I had to prove that I was. Uh, so what you're telling me, they deleted your comment. Right? I don't know who deleted it. Like they, I don't know who deleted like the it. Guy, they, yeah. The only person who can delete your comment is the guy. Who's or you two. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not blaming Keith. Somebody report you. I don't know. I'm not blaming Keith at all. That's no. not what I'm going. That's not at all what I'm trying to say here. No, 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 no. Anyway. So that happened with that al- that album, and actually, it, this is not the first time this happened to me. Oh. Back in oh my god, high school maybe or late high school. High school. Yeah. So high I, school. my friend Yan, was uh, we were buying cassettes from um, Columbia House. Everybody remembers those eleven cassettes for one penny and blah blah blah. That deal there. So we were, I bought a uh, rat detonator at the time. Nice. And so put the cassette in the car, listen to the, the song. And I'm like, that's odd. It's like a rap. Uh, re- but no, the cassette said no rat detonator. The cassette, I don't have it anymore because obviously we sent it back to, um, to Columbia House. So anyway, I'm just like, what the hell? this is odd. This is different. So anyway, I'm listening to driving along, and then this this I'm like, this is r- like almost like rap or hip hop or at the time. Ew. Then I'm like, okay, this sounds wrong. So I'm just chaining the cassette over, turn it a- around. What the hell do I hear? Is Tone Loke wild thing? <laughs> wild thing. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Ah, that's freaking cool. I freaking <laughs> drive to my friend Yan's house. I'm like, this is not rat on this here. So it's uh, it says rat on the so this is actually uh, the 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 tape itself was actually 
Capone Loke, whatever that album was there. But, you know, the cover, the, the cassette said rat on a detonator. But I was like, well, that was uh, about two, three minutes of my life. I won't get back. So anyway, that's pretty cool. That's uh, so that's my story for the, the rat detonator thing also. But also that happened with uh, Accept to Mean to Die. First time I seen this on vinyl. But like I said, look on Discogs. that It actually happens there. So I'm going to put, like I said, I'm going to shout out Keith, Attack from Down Under. And I'm going to put his channel name, uh, his channel link down below. And I'm going to put also Steve from Rock and Metal Invasion. You guys have seen him on my channel many times. And I'm also going to put Kevin... Uh, yeah. from uh, Sonic Boom TV. I would say those three with myself there, I find are the people that, or YouTube YouTubers that seem to communicate the most. Oh yeah. With, like there's, there's people that comment all the time. I'm not talking about that. I love you guys and all that. I'm talking about YouTubers that support other YouTubers. So I'm going to shout out Keith Steve and Kevin, I'm going to put their, their names and I'm actually putting you guys on the spot right here and say if you guys would love to do a quadruple, so like uh -huh. four screens episode uh, with myself, Keith, Steve, and Kevin. That could be interesting. I know that the time zones are going to be a little tricky. That's going to be we'll, we'll figure that out if everybody says yes. So if you, everybody would like love to do those four that I mentioned, Keith, Steve, Kevin and myself will have to do an episode. We'll talk about our own channels, kind of like a get to know each other uh, type of uh, what you guys specialize on in your channel and try to get more subscriptions and views on our channels and see if we can help each other out. Anyway, that's my idea. So if you guys are up, uh, up uh, regarding that, how the hell do I say that? If you guys are up for it, that make no sense what I said earlier there, but anyway. Let me know in the comments. And I'm actually curious if other people have a defect album that they could actually tell us about. You want to ting it? There we go. I was about to take your drink and you just, just drink it all. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. Well, actually, you are you are of age. You want to have a sip? I want to sip now. Yeah. Hey, all the, He's of age, all people. The viewers and all the people watches my uncle. This for you guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's the freaking fall, sir. I'm a amateur. No, 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 I'm amateur, man. That's that's not that's what you call it. What? It's a sip drink. <laughs> anyway. So I'm gonna go bring him to the hospital. And, yeah, uh, and uh we uh, shall see you guys later. But anyway, Keith, Steve, and Kevin, let me know. And on that note, we shall see you guys next episode. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.